goodness, who would have thought these pieces of plastic could become so popular with kids and adults in classrooms and at home? Today's game features 10 fun activities using puppets. Some are educational and some are just for fun. I'm Shauna Howell. Welcome to my channel. Join me on my mission to make the world more fun one game at a time. Let's get into today's video. Here we go. This first game is a spelling challenge. Label one letter per bubble. I used a Sharpie here and the Sharpie will eventually rub off, but it's easy to write the letters back on. And so far it's been the best thing that I have found to write letters on puppets. If you have found a way to write on them that doesn't rub off, let me know in the comment section. Call out a word or show a flashcard of a word. And the first player to pop all of the letters to the word wins. The second game is a spinoff of traditional hangman. So instead of writing the letters down on a sheet of paper, players will pop the letters in their puppet. Players can draw the person up on a giant whiteboard or smart board or just on a sheet of paper as I'm doing here to demonstrate when a letter has been guessed incorrectly and then whoever guesses the word correctly first and has all of their little bubbles popped is the winner of Hangman. Popper Speed Race. How fast can you pop all the bubbles in your puppet? The first player to do this wins the game. I love a good game of boggle and a good word unscramble. This game is word unscramble with puppets. Pop the letters of the word you are thinking of and then show your poppet to all of the other players and the player who guesses the word correctly first wins the game. Every kid loves hide and seek. This is hide and seek with pom-poms and your puppets. Hide a pom-pom under one bubble. Players then pop the bubbles until they find the pom-pom. Whoever finds their pom-pom first wins the game. We love minute to win it games over on this channel. So of course I had to come up with a minute to win it game using these puppets. How fast can you fill every bubble with a pom-pom using only two toothpicks. The first player to accomplish this task in one minute or the fastest wins the game. I'm using the smaller poppets here, but this would be fun with the giant poppets. I'll show you one on screen right now because that would be more ch challenging to complete within one minute's time. Or you could set up a series of more than one poppet. We've been doing a lot of letter games. Let's talk about some math games. Every player will need two dice and one poppet. Pop the number of bubbles on the two dice, write down the problem on paper if the child is old enough to do so, and then practice your addition or subtraction. Now I love this giant dice poppet board. I think it was called a chess board online. I will leave it as well as all of these little small square poppets. I will leave affiliate links in the description box of this video if you want to purchase them for yourself, the exact ones that I'm using. This is a two player game. Take turns rolling the dice and popping the number of bubbles that is indicated on your dice. This is great to learn addition. Whoever pops all of the bubbles on their side of the board then gets to pop one of the giant bubbles in the center of the board and that indicates that one round is complete. Best two out of three rounds wins the game. This next game can be played with Uno cards or a pack of playing cards like you see here. I gave face cards a value of 10 and aces a value of 11. Flip over a playing card, pop the number of bubbles on the card. First to pop all bubbles on their board wins. Now, if you are playing with Uno cards, don't play with the wild cards. And if a player gets a draw two or a four, you could give them extra 
turns, extra chances to turn to flip over a card and move. And if they get the skip, of course, that would skip a player's turn. This great game is great for two or more players. So I have one more game to give you, but if you are loving this video so far, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when I post new fun uploads like today's video. My last game is called Letter Pop. First to pop your matching letter wins the game. I have created letter pop mats. Principles like here that you see that I'm popping up on the screen, popping, get it, popping up on screen. <laughs> they come in black and white and also in colors. This is a download on my website. I will leave my website linked down below. There is a small cost for this because honestly it took me quite some time, <laughs> a couple hours to create this. And I consulted my sister-in-law who is a teacher to make sure that I am bringing a product that you all will love and find useful in your classrooms. So you could use this for letter recognition or you can play the pop it game and do it as a competition. Pass out one mat to every player, have it turned over face down, flip it over and whoever creates their letter first wins the game. Have fun out there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.